Based on the problems that you just worked on in the Assessment Center, you received a preliminary recommendation of Math 87, Quantitative Literacy. This course was specifically designed to help students to prepare for an algebra course. Math 87 spends time continuing to develop your skills with fractions, percents, and proportions. The course will also introduce positive and negative numbers, and by the end of the class, you will learn how to use variables to solve simple equations. You will look at real-world applications to practice and develop these math skills. You'll never have to ask, when would anyone ever use this? Now, because this recommendation was just based on a few problems done on a single day, you may want to consider the class below or the class above your Math 87 recommendation instead. If you are concerned that your math background is too weak, you may choose to register for ABED 40, Adult Basic Education Math. ABED 40 really focuses on working with and understanding your basic math operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. You will look at real-world applications to practice and develop these math skills. This course will also introduce fractions, decimals, percents, and proportions. Keep in mind, taking a lower level class will add some time onto your degree path. You would need to go from ABED 40 to Math 87 to Math 9099 and then on to your 100 level math course, but it might help you become a stronger student and raise your confidence. For more information about the ABED 40 course and how to get started, stop by the Academic Support Center in the library. On the other hand, if you've taken algebra at some point in your life before, you should seriously consider registering for the next higher math class, Math 99X, Accelerated Intermediate Algebra. This class serves as a review of the algebra skills that you will need for pre-calculus, for finite math for business, as well as many of our science and technology courses offered on campus. Math 99X will focus on simplifying expressions with variables, exponents, and roots, solving many types of equations, including linear and quadratic equations, equations with fractions, square roots, exponents, and logarithms. This course also introduces function notation and the basics of graphing the major function families. If you've never taken an algebra be course before or just prefer a slower pace, you could opt to take two quarters to complete this math algebra requirement instead. In this case, you would sign up for Math 90, STEM Introduction to Algebra, followed by Math 99, our STEM Intermediate Algebra course. The same topics will be covered as in Math 99X, but at a slower pace and with some extra time built in for looking at applications. Taking Math 99X directly or the slower Math 9099 sequence will save you time and money from taking an extra course. But be aware that you may have some weak areas in your background. Be prepared to put some extra time in reviewing concepts before classes start. Plan to visit the tutoring center or your instructor's office hours for those times that you need extra help. Signing up for one of these algebra courses directly instead of the Math 87 recommendation um, means that you're confident that you learned about fractions, percentages, and positive and negative numbers and working with simple equations and formulas before, and you're willing to put in extra time and effort if needed to succeed in these classes. I hope this helped introduce you to the math options that you have available to you. It is now time to choose a class that will mark the beginning of your math pathway. You want to choose a class where you will feel comfortably challenged. You don't want to choose an easy class where you've already learned the material. That will add extra time and money to your educational plan. But don't choose a class where you've never learned the prerequisite skills that you will need to be using in that class either, or your course will be a frustrating struggle and you may not be as successful. Don't forget to take advantage of the great resources that we have available at LW Tech, including support services for veterans or first-generation college students, as well as free math tutoring for all of our students. Still have questions about which math course would be best for you? Talk to your advisor or reach out to one of the math faculty here on campus. We are always happy to help. Welcome to Lake Washington Tech. Hope to see you in a math class soon.